All right, so today I'm gonna to teach you the best ecto cooler recipe available on the internet, the best and the easiest. You know, this goes, this uh, is easier than a lot of the other recipes out there. I know there's one that was made popular by the uh, Ghostbuster Chicago division uh, several years ago. Theirs had many ingredients, including tangerine juice, orange juice, couple flavors of Kool-Aid and uh, a lot of sugar more sugar than I feel is personally necessary uh, what they made taste pretty good but uh, I think it lacks the certain distinct flavor of a high C tastes more like a Kool-Aid to me also they like the flavors just aren't quite right and I am going to show you how to make a better drink what I feel is a better closing match and uh, important to me it gets a much better green flavor there the, the recipe they give um, you end up with a really dark murky green uh, the first thing that you'll need is uh, one of these three pound bags of mandarins um, these are available at every grocery store that I've been to uh, you could probably find tangerine juice or mandarin juice some places I know you can buy it online but that's what I'm going to start with and I'm going to cut up all of these I will see you in just a second all right I have I have juiced uh, that entire bag save for this one right here so you juice it up and then I've been straining it through a strainer just to get rid of the pulp. There we go. As you can see, that three pound bag gets you about two, oop, got, got a little pulp in there. About two um, cups. And, uh, now, I don't know if I mentioned it, but this is a three ingredient recipe. So, that is ingredient number one. I'm just going to pour it into this half gallon pitcher here. I'm straining it again, just because I don't want really a lot of pulp. We'll let that go. Now, this is one I like to add. The second ingredient, which is green food coloring. This one is obviously purely cosmetic, but you can't really have ecto cooler without a little green. Some recipes will call for blue too. I find just a couple drops of this, like this is like a neon green kind of thing. I really like it. Um, Hmm, I might need to add some more. Maybe I will have to add some blue. Hmm. You know, I changed my mind about the... I'm going to add a little blue. Hold on one sec. Alright, I guess I've upped this from a three ingredient to a four ingredient. A little blue. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, I like that green. Now it's time for the secret ingredient. The third and final ingredient, orange high C. I found that the old recipe, like I said, it calls for so much sugar and so many things trying to match the high C flavor. When this, you know, this has sweeteners in it already, and you got a lot of sweetener from the juice. So, you know, I figured why not just do it instead of adding like orange flavored Kool-Aid, just add an orange flavored high C that has all the sweeteners built into it. Um, 
Now you could, by the way, I have one full eight pack of high C. And there are probably better ways of getting it out of the box, but every way I tried ended up with a big sticky mess. So I just cut holes where the straw goes. And empty it out like that. All right, I'm gonna finish up these boxes. I'll be right back. And there we go. You'll see that one full eight pack mixed with the two cups of juice gave us pretty much one exact half gallon. This is why I call this the simplest ecto cooler recipe on the internet because it's you know one bag of mandarins, one pack of high C orange. You know you don't have to add any extra water. You don't have to add any extra sweeteners. You don't have to add you know multiple flavors of Kool Aid which you may or may not be able to find. And look at that green. That is a nice green. It's a little bit hard to show. But it's not nearly as dark as the more common recipes you'll find. <laughs> oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful looking? That is quite a glass of Ecto Cooler. And if you ask me, It tastes a lot more like Ecto Cooler than, um, than the more common recipe. Um, some purists may note that, you know, High C only has 10% fruit juice. It even says so right on the box. It probably says it on this box. Um, 10% juice, blend of three juices from concentrate. You know, High C's always had 10% juice. Now, you can back off the uh, the mandarin juice a little bit, probably. You could probably tinker with it a little bit to taste. You know, you could probably... Uh, I might recommend a few less mandarins. Maybe bring it down to like a cup, a cup and a half. And then maybe just add a little bit, maybe an extra box of orange high C. Just to make up the difference in volume. That way you've got, you know more high C, less juice, it'll, you know, you can do it to taste, but I just really wanted to make something simple, and, um, yeah, what could be simpler than that? One bag, one pack, little green dye, and you're good to go. Um, I think that's, uh, that's about it. Uh, if you try it, let me know how you like it. Um, let me know if you think it's better than the other kind, and, um, I'll see you later. Thanks.